Sweet Summer Days is happening now at Whole Foods Market with sales on the juiciest fruits of the season, organic peaches, organic cantaloupes, blueberries, and strawberries. That's an epic fruit salad. You'll also find sweet sales on fresh Alaska sockeye salmon and halibut and grill-ready fruity marinades. Keep your wallet happy with aisles of savings from 365 by Whole Foods Market, like sparkling waters, frozen fruits, and snacks. Sweeten your summer at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. Today on CityCast Boise, Boise's Basque community is vibrant and thriving, but how's the food? We sent audio producer and self-professed not very adventurous eater Evelyn Avitia out to try some Basque block faves for the first time, and she finds out why the Basques say to know how to eat and drink is to know enough. It's Wednesday, July 26th. I'm Emma Arnold, and this is what Boise's talking about. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, Emma. So this was your first time trying Basque food ever. What was your first impression? It was. I am not a very adventurous eater. I like to stay in my comfort zone. So of course, I'm eating a lot of Mexican or American type of food. (laughs) Which is a good comfort zone. That's a good place to stay, honestly, (laughs) is Mexican food for sure. (laughs) I'm not complaining. But um, I've always wanted to try Basque food. And so I was really, really excited to go try a meal, and I actually really enjoyed it. It's funny. I I, I always forget that you're such a Caldwell girl, that it doesn't matter that Boise is that close, that you don't really come here a ton, (laughs) because I feel like I don't know how you grow up in the Treasure Valley without ever, like, trying Basque food, because it just seems to me like it was such an integral part of my my, uh, my upbringing of my childhood. I'm not Basque, but I have Basque family that uh, married into our family, and I grew up around a lot of like the, you know, the Basque community here has a huge presence. Mm -hmm. And um, I grew up around the food and the dancing. My cousins did the Basque dancing. Um, We went to, you know, we we went to the festivals in the summer and stuff. And uh, I I just, it's so funny to me that you like, you were so close and you never, you never ever tried it. I mean, it was just never an opportunity. Like it wasn't presented to me. And so now me being a young adult, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get out there and be more adventurous and try new things. So this little introduction that you did to Basque food, what spots did you try? So I've always heard people talking about Bar Guernica. Me specifically. You're talking about me constantly. Yeah. (laughs) Of course, you and Frankie talking about it all the time. And I feel like it's just such a like staple in the Boise community. And I've always heard people Um, hanging out there and getting food there and getting drinks there. And so, of course, I went to go try that spot first. I invited two of my friends who have never had Basque food either. And so the three of us are walking in there and we're like, okay, where's the door? Like, how do we get in here? (laughs) Honestly, we were nervous. We're like, I don't know what to expect. Um, And who do we see sitting out on the patio? (laughs) <laughs> Any guesses? In my usual spot. <laughs> it was Emma. Emma was sitting out there and I was like, oh my God, thank God. I was like, mom, how do I get in here? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, it's a little crowded, but there's tables inside. <laughs> you don't have to sit out here in 105 degree heat like I'm doing. Uh, yeah. That was very cute seeing you. And I get, honestly, Bargarinica is a tiny tucked away spot that like, Uh, You know, if it's your first time walking into that spot, I can see why you'd be a little intimidated because it's always packed and you kind and like it's a little they're always so busy and the service is great. The servers are wonderful, but they're always so busy. You kind of a little have to like self-direct like you have to be like, okay, I'm sitting. I'm over here. I'm sitting here. Like when we sat outside, I I was like went in and was like, there's there's two for outside. And they're like, thank you. We're so busy. So uh, I get that. I get that. But what did you what did you think? I think it has such a great atmosphere personally, but what did you what did you and your, your gals think? Totally. That's something I'm not used to. It was just a very chill vibe. And one of my friends, I've never been to Europe, but she told me it really had that like hangout presence of like, yeah, you're just, you know, grabbing a meal with friends and you're taking your time and you're enjoying your meal and you're not like rushed is how 
she described it. And I was like, yeah, I agree. Yeah. So what did you, what did you, so it's cute inside. It does feel very European. And I would say the same thing about a couple of the other Basque places. Like they've done such a good job of transporting you. Um, but what did you eat? Describe what you guys got. Yes. Yeah, so we ordered a cheese plate and it had three different types of cheeses, a baguette, some nuts, and some kind of jam, which was really, really good. I love a good cheese board. Um, and then we ordered a lamb grinder, a chicken grinder, and a chorizo sandwich. Nice. All with the croquetas, of course. And I just loved how seasoned and how much flavor there there was, like with the peppers and the grilled onions. Like, it was so, so good. I really had no idea what to expect. I'm telling you, I was so nervous. I was like, what am I going to get? <laughs> and I was hoping my food would be seasoned. Thank God it was. <laughs> there was a lot of flavor in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bass food is very flavorful. Well, I that night, part of the reason I went is because um, I've been going to Bargarnica since I was a kid, basically a teenager, and I always, always get the same thing. Um, I always get the Salomo and croquetas, always. And I this time was like, okay, I'm going to try a couple other things. Um, so I also got the cheese plate, which was phenomenal. And I got uh, the chorizo sandwich, which was so good. I can't believe I never got it before. I was like, what's so wrong with me? good. I was shocked. That chorizo was so good. I can't explain it. So perfect. I mean, and that's, you know, the basis of Basque food. If you're like, what is Basque food? It's like peppers, onions, and extremely flavorful cured meats, which I just feel like you can't go wrong with. Did you get drinks? What about wine and stuff? Yes. So we got the Calimochos. The Calimochos. Mm -hmm. um, I love Coke. And um, I'm not a big wine, red wine girl. And so I was a little nervous to see what that would taste like, but it was really good. I get the hype. I mean, I don't drink, obviously, but I always see they've got the cutest little cocktails and stuff coming out and they everything looks so, so good. Sweet Summer Days is happening now at Whole Foods Market with sales on the juiciest fruits of the season. Organic peaches, organic cantaloupes, blueberries and strawberries. That's an epic fruit salad. You'll also find sweet sales on fresh Alaska sockeye salmon and halibut and grill-ready fruity marinades. Keep your wallet happy with aisles of savings from 365 by Whole Foods Market, like sparkling waters, frozen fruits, and snacks. Sweeten your summer at Whole Foods Market. Terms apply. So the friend I was with was from L.A., had never had Basque food before. Uh, they were in town for a show, and I was like... I was like, you have to try the croquetas. And he was, he's very well traveled, has tried lots of things. And he was like, what is a croquetta? And I was like, well, it's like a fried ball of gravy. And he's like, that sounds disgusting. And I was like, I'm not doing it justice. I'm not, I'm not doing it justice. And like every Basque place has croquetas. They all do them a little differently. But I think the general consensus is that like they're a fave. Like for me, they're one of my, I always get croquetas when I go to the Basque, uh, Basque block. But do you, did you like them? Were you crazy about them? Yeah, I, I was very interested. Um, like when I took a bite, I was like, what is this? Like I couldn't figure out is it cheese? Is it potato? Like, what is in there? Magic. Yeah. Who knows? But it was really good. Yeah. I mean, I was really shocked. We were, like, trying to eat, and then we take a bite of our croqueta, and it was, like, burning hot. Like, it would just take in so much heat, and we're like, okay, let's wait. But they had this, like, sauce on the side. Tiger sauce. Yeah. What was that? The most perfect spicy sauce in the world. Yeah. That was so good. It went really, really well with it. Yeah, I, I my friend was a convert. He had one and then was like, OK, you you shouldn't tell people these are fried balls of gravy because that's not fair to no, what they are. Yeah. They're delicious. And I was like, you're right. Sorry. I think they're really good. They do deserve the hype that they're getting. And I know that there's so many different versions to make the croquetas. So I don't know. I like the ones that Bargarnica has for sure. But I definitely want to try more. Well, so Bargarnica, croquetas and chorizo stood out to you. Is that is that right? Like two top favorites? For sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. What about ansatz? I know you tried ansatz and so did I. I went and grabbed a sandwich there. Ooh. What did you get and did you love it? Okay. So I walked in and I take my little seat and my server is so amazing. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let you choose my plate. And she's like, okay. And so she picked out the eggs purgatory 
I'm a big fan of eggs. It was during brunch time. So um, I was okay with a meal like that. And so the eggs in purgatory are two eggs simmered in a Muma's tomato and garlic and pepper sauce. And then it's topped with the manchego cheese and parsley. And it comes with garlic toast. And then we added Basque bacon on the side. Mm. I loved it. I loved it. Like I said, I'm a big fan of eggs, especially when they're just full of flavor. So I would recommend that. However, the bacon, I was not a fan. You didn't like? No? No, I did not like the Basque bacon. I I think... I think almost calling it bacon sort of sets up the American um, expectation of what it's going to be because I feel like if you if you if it was called something else you wouldn't have that thought in mind already of like this is going to be bacon and because it definitely tastes very very different. Yeah, I really like the Basque bacon, but um, again, I kind of grew up on it. And um, you, the cool thing about Ansatz is they actually make all their cured meats in house. Like they make everything really, and, and all. I don't know if all, but most of the recipes are uh, the chef Dan. His those are his grandmother's. His Amuma Amuma's Basque for grandmother. Oh, okay. Um, those are his grandmother's recipes, which I I think is so so amazing and so sweet. And also one thing I love about Ansatz. Um, I had uh, the chorizo sandwich there also, not to be, but I just kind of had to know, uh, but it was super, super good. And they have these, they had a really yummy soup. I had clams in it. I can't remember what it was. Uh, maybe it was Totoro. Uh, it was so delicious and so great. But one of the things I really love about Ansatz that you don't always get at Granica since Granica is sort of everybody kind of coming through, but Ansatz, a lot of time there's a ton of uh, Basque people in there actually sitting around, uh, you know, sitting around playing checkers or whatever, just kind of hanging out and eating. And you can hear a ton of the Basque language, uh, Uskara, being spoken there. And uh, as a kid, I grew up hearing that, not, you know, not speaking. I, I think I know like five words. I know how to say, uh, hello, Kaisho. And I know how to say, uh, poop and pee, obviously, oh, cheech cool. and bubble. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and topa, which is, you know, cheers. That's what you say when you're drinking together. So, But it's so fun to be sitting somewhere. And it, and Ansatz has that very European feel totally. of hearing uh, this other language. And uh, the food is just so unique. Did you have it? Did you try any? I guess you went for brunch, but their desserts are also phenomenal. No, I didn't. But I love that the chef's inspiration is his grandma because that's exactly how my meal felt. I felt like I was going over to my grandma's house and she had just made me this amazing breakfast or brunch. Oh, I love that. That's, that is actually, that's a very good way to describe it in there is it feels like you're at your Amuma's house. And I think Dan would, would love to hear that. Um, Also, I'm going to I'm going to specifically say if you are looking for probably the best dessert you've ever had Basque cheesecake Ooh. is so unique and so delicious and I think a lot of people uh, who aren't Basque just think it's like regular cheesecake but it's like very special and very tasty. So you went to Bargarnica and you went to Ansatz. Uh was there anywhere else? Did you try anywhere else? I wanted to go try the Basque market. My server, she told me, my Ansatz server, she was like That is the place to go if you want to get the best cheeses for a cheese board. So I walked over to the Basque Market and it was Friday at noon and it was super, super, super full because they were doing their paella on the patio. And so it looked delicious. There was a long line of people waiting. They were doing online orders and they had a huge wait list. So unfortunately, I didn't get any, but I really want to try it out. Have you have you tried it before? I have. I have. Tr- I mean, we had their paella quite a bit when I was a kid. Um, and as a kid, I didn't like it. Uh, I was always like not that into seafood, which if if you're not familiar with Basque food, it's really built around seafood. Um, and as a kid, I didn't like that. But as an adult, I've like started to I obviously like my palate changed and I've been like, yeah, this is amazing. But my go-to at the Basque market is their meatballs. Um, oh. Crazy about their meatballs. They have such good, they don't have them every day. It's part of their um, tapas menu. Um, sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. But those are so, 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 so good. Um, and their calamari is really good. I'm trying to think what else. I mean, and their cheese. I mean, you could spend a million dollars and half your life picking out cheeses there because there truly are so, so, so many things to choose from. And again, Boy, those Basque people have figured out cured meats. They're the, <laughs> the kings and queens of, of cured meats for sure. So yeah. Okay, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to pick a fight here. Just so you know, but I want to know how how does it Basque food compare to Mexican food for you? What do you think? Oh, 
that's like oh it's not a fair fight i'm telling you mexican food has my whole heart it's yeah. my soul it's what i'm comfortable with of course um however basque food is getting up there i'm gonna add it into my top list of um cultural foods that i have enjoyed because it was really good and the funny thing is my dad has been wanting to try Basque food forever, which is so random to me. I don't know where he got this idea from because he, <laughs> if I'm in my comfort zone, he's in his comfort zone. Um, and he, so I definitely have some places to take him. Oh, I love that. How cute. You yeah. and your dad on a little Basque date. I love that. That's very sweet. Yes. Um, well, what do you think? We, we did it. You did it. You tried it. How would you rate it? And do you recommend Basque food to other people? So 10 out of 10, there are more Basque places that I need to try. I will for sure go to Boise. I'll make the trip uh, <laughs> and go and try. <laughs> wow. That's a big recommendation. Just so your listeners know, Evelyn saying I'll make the trip to Boise is like, that is a huge 10 star <laughs> review right there. <laughs> yeah. I think it's worth it. It's for sure. All right. Well, uh, let's, let's, you got to try the market. There's still so much to be explored. <gasps> you haven't market. even been to the museum. You got to go to a yeah. party at the Basque Center. There's so much. And then of course we have the festival coming up this weekend, which we should bring your dad. Let's, uh, let's party. I say. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. All right. Thanks, Evelyn. Thanks for being an adventurous eater for us. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> One more thing before you go. The annual San Anasio Festival kicks off this Friday on the Basque Block downtown. The weekend-long festival honors the Feast of St. Ignatius, the patron saint of the Basques, and features music, dancing, food and drink, and traditional Basque sports. The Bigger Hialdi Festival is slated to return in 2025 after a long hiatus during the pandemic. For more information, check out the Basque Center's website at basquecenter.com. That's all for today here on CityCast Boise. If you enjoyed the show, tell all your Basque friends. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more local stories from around the city. Bye. Bye.